Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, this is John with Rublu Custom Rods. Hey, today um, I'm going to go ahead and give a, a tutorial on how to do uh, dragon scale. It's actually going to be the second tutorial I've done. I've done one um, before uh, that you can see on my channel, but this one is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do another um, tutorial on dragon scale, but instead of using one color, uh, I'm going to use two shades of the same color to see how it comes out. So stay with me uh, and let's check it out. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna go ahead um, and do the dragon scale. I'm gonna do a small stent. So I'm basically gonna have a dragon scale here, a, a double thread, then I'll have some other thread work, and then I'll have another dragon scale piece for a total distance of, of about seven inches. But this first one, I'm just gonna do um, to a couple inches. And so I'm thinking, Two inches to that mark right there. And then I'll be using uh, some fiberglass tape, uh, kind of like what I used before in, in the last uh, tutorial that I did. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the, some tape uh, trimmed up for the distance that I want. I think I wanna go Four wide, one, two, three, four. So again, we're doing two about two inches. So I just want to make sure that I got enough. I'm gonna come in here. All right, so now I'm gonna trim these little ends off here. And then I like to trim all these little extra pieces off um, just because they have a tendency to stick up sometimes and it gets to be a little, it can be a little challenging uh, to keep them uh, from coming up. So again, I'm talking about these, in, these ends right here, right there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and trim this last part off. All right, and so then what I wanna do is I gotta find the angle that I want to wrap this at. Um, and so I'm thinking, we'll come up with a slight angle. And I'm basically cutting it on an angle so I can place it down here and that it will connect when I turn my rod. And that was pretty much on that pretty much was right on the nose and then i'm going to come back and i'm just what i'm doing now is Coming back at the angle that I want that to be straight. Oops. All right, so that should have took care of that. So then I come back here again, and then I lay that down, and that should be lined up nicely. Sweet. That's just, just past my two inch mark, um, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. 
All right, so I got my fiberglass tape on here. You can see I got my, my little distance cut. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take another working end of thread here. So this is uh, pale gold thread. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a tape piece of tape there to secure that. And then I'm gonna put another piece of tape right here to secure that one. And then I'm going to come back here. And I'm just going to get this thread started. Just moving this thread back down to this end down here. Again, this is just to get this part here started. And what we'll do is tighten it up. All right, so we got that going there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna introduce this thread uh, back into the main, into the main wrap. <laughs> So I'm going to bring that here. We're going to come back over here. And basically, now we're going to introduce these two colors of thread into this tiger or dragon scale wrap. Come back here, tag that down, give myself some slack. So just slowly turning this, and you can see I'm using my fingernail to push this down to make sure I'm kind of choked down all the way. You know, I'm packing that thread nice and tight.
very slow process here. So again, I'm working with a, you know, kind of a normal gold, I guess, if you will. And then I'm working with a pale gold. That's the lighter um, metallic thread. They're both metallic, but the pale gold is a, is a bit lighter. And I'm basically wrapping at the same time, almost like if you're doing an inlay, right? Kind of the same concept. And the reason um, I'm using one hand to hold the thread and my fingernail to turn the, you know, my one hand to kind of pack the thread and turn the rod at the same time, is because I'm doing it um, with, you know, I have one spool of thread on here. That's the dark gold. And then that pale gold, that lighter color gold, that's a long strand of thread that I'm basically, again, doing like an inlay. Um, and I'm just kind of holding it, making sure they stay side by side as I do the wrap. So I work a little bit. And then advanced the thread and it's kind of a slow tedious process this way but you know that's why we call them custom right so and of course you could do it a different way um, you know, you could have your thread, you could do it uh, with a power wrapper, of course, and have two, two spools of thread on there. Um, you know, my only concern is, is that, or you can do a manual way with two, spool of two spools of thread on, um, on your wrapper. But my only concern is, is both spools have to come off at the same time, or they have to release tension uh, at the same time on both spools of thread to ensure you get consistent, steady, pressure uh, and release against the thread and releasing of the thread, if that makes any sense. And I think that's coming out pretty, pretty neat actually. I think you guys can see how this is coming out. And of course, at the end of the video, I will, I'll do a close up of it so you can get a better look at it. And so, um, again, dragon scale wrap. 
uh, but we're using two two different colors, really the same color, but two different shades of it. So I'm using a, 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 a bright gold, if you will, or excuse me, a dark gold. And then I'm using uh, what is known as a pale gold. And then we're doing the wrap. And so if you, if you like the content or if you're getting anything out of this uh, video, uh, go ahead and, uh, and smash the like button or excuse me, hit the like button. Uh, you know, and if you have any comments, uh, please feel free to share them down there in the comments. Like if, you know, if, if there's something you like about what I'm doing or if you want to see, uh, see some other content, um, you know, let me know, man. Make a note down there. Uh, and of course, I'll respond. So again, we're slowly progressing. Two different colors of gold uh, or two different shades of gold for this dragon scale wrap. Some spots I'm able to pick it up a little bit. Making sure it's nice and tight in there. Almost done with that pale gold portion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to kind of tuck that in, get in close. So I'm getting to the point where I'm going to want to tuck this in. So let me come back to the, what I call a bottom. All right, so this is a spinning rod that we're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. I'm going to grab this working in, and now I'm just going to continue to rotate. Make sure I'm on top of that. There we go. Get about three wraps. Make sure that I'm good and tight. All right. And then I can let that go. And I'll come back here. here, grab that working end, and I'm going to pinch off where I want it to stop. I use this piece of tape, I'm just going to bring it out here to hold it down. And that's basically what it there we go. All right. So then I'm going to come back. I'm 
Cut that gold thread, that pale gold thread. Come back here with my scissors. Now I got that on there, I'm gonna come back over here and keep turning with that gold. Alright, so just wrapping that off, that extra extra part of that fiberglass tape, just wrapping that down in there. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do, So I'm going to come back with about six wraps. On the gold thread through there. Come back. And then we're going to burnish that down. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. And I'm taking that burnishing tool and just kind of straightening that line up a little bit. I'm going to come back over here to this far end. All right, and then uh, that's it. So what I'll do is I'll continue on here with some regular thread work. Uh, but what I wanted to show you uh, was the dragon scale with two metallic colors. Um, and I think it came out pretty good. So uh, let's, let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is what the finished product looks like. So again, I've used a dark metallic gold and then a lighter pale metallic gold color. Uh, for my dragon scale and you can see as it rotates you can see those dragon scales underneath that um, That is going to look great once we get some epoxy on it now. I'm not done here. Of course um, I'll have some tag wraps back down here um, at this end uh, And then of course I will continue from this end on uh, Moving down the rod with some other thread work and then I'll cap it off with another piece of this dragon scale but uh, yeah, this is what uh, you know two two colors uh, for a dragon scale versus just the standard one color you see a lot of the times. Um, so if, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your notes down in the comment block. And I'm going to go back behind this and burnish this out a little bit. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, leave a note in the comments block. If you like the content I'm doing, um, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, and if you want to be notified um, on the next content or when I'm releasing new content, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you click on my logo there, uh, that'll go ahead and, and subscribe to, uh, to this channel. So uh, I look forward to uh, talking to you guys later. Um, have a great weekend uh, and stay safe.